Welcome to the first episode of our new HDT show series. Each of our shows will showcase aspects of our great trotting lineup of internationally bred stallions for the 2022-23 breeding season. We're starting our series with a focus on our champion French based stallion, Love You, one of the world's all time great trotting sires. He is again making his mark in Australia as current leading three year old sire. Among his three year old winners is the Group 1 winning filly, Tough Love. David Brio caught up with Tough Love's trainer, Ricky Elchin, for a chat about this outstanding daughter of Love You. But it's all Tough Love sprinting away up the straight, and she's all too good. She's a nice young trotter. Tough Love, she knuckles into her work. She's going to win another one, and she cruises in the score, Tough Love. Okay, Ricky, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh for a chat about uh, your star trotting filly, Tough Love, of course, a daughter of Love You. And uh, let's go back to the start. Uh, she was uh, foaled at Ben Stud. They did their early education with her. And then uh, she arrived uh, in your stable. What were your first impressions of this daughter of Love You? Ben Stud, um, Craig Judd down there, he'd sort of given me the heads up about her. He said, I don't know what it is about this filly, but just from day one, she's impressed me. Um, she was just, just had quality. From, from the get-go and yeah, she broke in that way too. Nothing was ever an issue with her. She was just, you know, just lovely. She took to the mouthing gear. She took to the, you know, everything we asked her to do, she just done with these. You know, a massive asset of her is her gait. She's, um, you know, just so well gated. She takes a massive stride. Um, you know, she probably trots a bit more like a French trotter. She um, She's very light on her feet and, you know, doesn't wear a boot in front. And, yeah, she, she's a really good gaiter, really. Um, and, you know, her attitude to, to want to do it's there as well. And, yeah, obviously she's got the ability to match. She can be a little bit sassy at times, but, um, you know, most of the good fillies are. But as a whole, she's, she's very, very sweet. So in that first season as a two-year-old, you had the 11 stars for five wins and uh, three seconds and three thirds. Picked up a second in the uh, New South Wales Foundation Series, uh, a second in the Redwood, the Group 1 uh, Classic here in Victoria, and uh, finished third in the Breeders' Crown. That's right. Um, when she ran second here in the Redwood, she actually was very out of character. She she made a break at the start and, um, you know, she was out of play from the get-go, but still done a terrific job to run second. Yeah, you know, her runs down in Melbourne were terrific, um, you know, and she was probably near the end of a tether when she ran third in the Breeders' Crown, but she, she had a good spell after that. And, you know, she's come back and yeah, she, you know, she's virtually unbeaten. The only time she was beaten this preparation was against the boys in the dub. It was a very impressive winner uh, in the Group 1 New South Wales Oaks. Uh, and that must've been a real thrill to finally get a Group 1 with her. Oh, for sure, especially, you know, um, training your brother, I think sentimentally he'll never be replaced. He's been such a good horse to me. He's won four Group Ones and, you know, nearly 600,000. Um, and winning that race in New Zealand with him, something I'll never forget. But then to be able to, to come out and win a Group One on a sister, um, you know, it was great for the connections, great for the brood mare, and great for me. And of course, uh... We've got a lot of big races uh, to come ahead yet this season. She's uh, had that early look. She's out for a, a short break uh, at the moment. Yeah, she's got a pretty busy um, end of the season now, probably where the big money is. Um, so yeah, she, she'll head down to Melbourne for, for all the feature races and there's no reason why she won't be competitive in them as well. And when she turns out as a four-year-old, obviously it gets a little bit tougher as they get older for the mares. And she, she is quite a high grade of a filly already. So she's going to come out of her three-year-old career, um, you know, probably as a free-for-all mare, which, which can get, you know, a little bit tough when you've got to be thrown in the deep end. So I think next season, um, as a four-year-old, we, we will pick and choose her races um, and not over-race her. You know, I'm expecting her to shape up to free-for-all company. And then, yeah, um, you know, I am looking forward to the progeny out of her. So thanks very much for joining us from uh, your home in New South Wales and uh, all the best with Tub Love down the track. No worries. Thank you very much.
Turkey time, one spec at big odds is making ground to Marty Sass, Paris K and Aldebaran Misty, but 28-2 for that next quarter. It's tough love. At the moment, it's in splendid isolation. Alchard has a look around. Armandine's in for the fight. It's starting to close in. It's tough love, the local hope. 150 metres left to go. Armandine is starting to wear into that margin. Tough love in front. Armandine, two metres behind, one metre behind. Dives, tough love, rips on. Tough love, the local has been too tough and tips it.